Alright everybody, before I get into today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to Tucker O'Donnell. He was the first person to leave a comment on my last video, also one of the people who left a like on this video, and he is the notification bay of the day. If you want to be the notification bay of the day, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video. Be sure to also smash that like button. Your comment can be whatever you want. You know, you buy nipple tassels on the weekends, whatever it is you want it to be. You will be the notification bay of the day. And if there's multiple people that were around first place, you know, like we'll say like maybe first 10 people that comment and leave a like, then all of you can be notification bay of the day. But all you got to do, do that. Did I just say do twice? I don't even know what I'm even saying you got to hit that notification bell so that you can be part of the notification squad and you can hopefully be notification bay of the day. So a huge shout out to Tucker O'Donnell. Go check him out. Go leave him a subscribe. Tell him that Avery LR32 sent you because he is the notification bay of the day. If you want to be on it, smash that like button, leave a comment. Be sure to hit that notification bell. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. What's up, you guys? It's Avery here, and I'm trying something new today. Um for a series that I want to do on my channel. Instead of doing a market watch like everybody else and their mother does, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to take a different angle at it, and I want to see what you guys think. Uh, and what this is going to be is actually something that um, Jason Grabermeyer does here on TCG Player. So huge shout out to him for, I guess, me kind of using this idea. It's a set review, and it's going to be a giant set review because we're going to review uh, the, a, a set as a whole. What this is going to be called is the giant set review. What this series is, is that I'm going to be taking a set and I'm going to be reviewing it, whether it's Code of the Duelist or whether it's Dimensional Guardians, and I'm basically going to be rating it and I'm going to be talking about the cards in it, what you can be able to expect to get, and things of that nature. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Again, if you want to see this series more, be sure to smash that like button and leave a comment. Let me know that you're enjoying it, and we will keep it up, but I got to see those likes on that like button. So, let's jump right into it. So, starting off, we got Spiral Flame Strike. Um, the whole point of doing this giant set review is to talk about what you can expect out of a set, what you can expect investment-wise, whether it's a good investment, bad investment. Everybody and their mother already knows that Dimensional Guardians is a horrible pack because it just has all of these reprints with a couple new cards. And other than the couple of new cards, this set isn't really all that good, which is kind of where I want to start off with Spiral Flame Strike. This card's about $5.00. And it's pretty much just this because nobody wanted to buy this set. So the prices are going to pretty much stay where they are until people kind of start buying them off the secondary market. And if my computer will load, I'm going to show you what it does. So what it does, Spiral Flame Strike, it's a normal spell card, ultra rare. You activate one of these effects. If you control an odd ice card, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. and you can, Or you can add to your hand one level 7 odd ice monster from your deck or one face of level 7 odd ice pendulum monster from your extra deck. Not a bad card overall. I mean, there's a crap ton on the market, my god. Uh, we got $5, once $4.99 cents shipping. This doesn't want to load, and I'm not patient, so we're just going to kind of skip on over that. I mean, it's an interesting card. It's cute. It's, you know, I guess good for the Odd Eyes decks that you'll be able to play for a whole month, even though people are mostly just going to be playing Pendulum Magicians. Pendulum Fusion, another $5 card. It's good for the Pendulums that are coming out. Um, but again, you're only going to be able to play the deck for a month. It's a super rare normal spell card. You can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you control as fusion materials. If you have two cards in your pendulum zones, you can also use cards in your pendulum zones as fusion materials, and you can only activate one pendulum fusion per turn. It's a $5 card. What can I say? It's cute, I suppose. Um, again, though, the only problem is, is that since you're more than likely only going to be able to play the deck and I'm talking about Pendulums in this case, for a month, it's not really worth it to invest in cards like Pendulum Fusion or even Spiral Flame Strike or anything for that matter. And the reason why I say that you'll only be able to play the deck for a month is because of the fact that with us getting this emergency ban list taking effect June 12th, and with Code of the Duelist and the whole Link Summoning mechanic basically coming out in August, that's when the game is going to drastically change because number one, we're going to get a new ban list, and number two, the pendulum scales are going to move to the spell and trap zone, so it's really going to hurt the pendulum mechanic. 
So you can do all these crazy combos that you want right now with pendulums because you have the scales, but then once you take away the scales, put them in the spell trap zone, you're not going to be doing as much along with the rules that you have to have them in the extra monster zone and all that crazy stuff. Um, Fright for Reborn, a $4 card. If we would have gotten Fright for Patchwork, this set would be so much better, but instead they give us Fright for Reborn. I'm not really going to talk about Fright Furs and Fluffles and all that because I don't really know all that much about the deck. I just know that Patchwork is a busted card. Um, we got more speedroid support. Speedroid support is always good, um, but you know, with Terra Top being hit, it's just kind of like you know, no one really cares. And that that's kind of the whole thing with the set is that you have kind of these nice reprints and all that, but it's just things that people don't really care about. I mean, rit Ritual Sanctuary, sure, sure, sure. Uh, why not? It's a one to two dollar card. Uh, you have all of these performer pal cards: Tyrant, Red Dragon, Archfiend, Cyber Angels, Red Wyvern. All of these things that people don't really care about. Starleach Paladynamo, people cared about, I guess, a year ago. Um, sure, thanks for the easy reprint. So this is really not a set overall that you want to invest in. If we had something like Fright for Patchwork in this set, that you could easily flip a card like that and make easy money, then I would say absolutely go for it. But we don't have Patchwork in the set, so this set is just really a bust. So if I had to give a rating on this uh, set before I close out here, I would give it a honestly a 5 out of 10 and the only reason why it's that high is because we're getting a lot of reprinted cards that are make it even easier to get than they were in their normal sets for the casual players this is more of a casual set um, you know keep in mind that this game is for ages 6 and up so <laughs> even though it's basically only adults that play this game let's be real here depending on your local meta but <clears throat> it it's, it's just one of those reprint sets. It's one of those really trash reprint sets that no one's really going to care about. And so because of that, I can only really give this set a 5 out of 10. Now when Code of the Duels rolls around, we will definitely be able to be more in-depth with this um, type of review. We'll be able to kind of pick out more cards and talk about them more in-depth. Um, but with Dimensional Guardians, it's pretty much just very cut and dry with what this set is you have a couple cute cards like spiral flame strike and pendulum fusion of fright for reborn and that's about it there's really nothing else in this set that you would really want to look for and it'd be pointless to buy a box because you can't really flip that this set for money um if you're into that sort of thing if you want to buy a box sure go ahead go for it but keep in mind that you're basically investing 30 to 40 dollars and you're not going to get your money back. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know with a like. If you guys want to see the series continue, please let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be part of the Ding Dong Notification Squad, where you could potentially be the notification bay of the day. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and subscribe if you've not already.